Hey guys, welcome back to this video. Let's talk about ZSH. ZSH aka Z shell is a Unix shell that is used as an interactive login shell and as a command interpreter for cell scripting. But normally in Linux or macOS terminal, we get bash shell as a default shell, which only provides the basic features unlike ZSH, which is known for its variety of customizations and rich features, which I'll be going through in this video. In short, ZSH is a rich alternative for your normal day-to-day -day bash shell which we get normally you know by default in Linux. So to maximize your terminal and developing better programming skills you must install ZSH and use it. So I personally would highly recommend that you use ZSH instead of bash shell. So OMIZSH is a open source framework for ZSH and this is what I'll be demonstrating now. So how do you install ZSH? For that go to this page OMIZSH and just hit install OMIZSH and then simply copy this link and paste this link like this and then hit enter so this will automatically install zsh on your machine and currently i already have the zsh installed on my machine that this is the reason that you are like seeing this message you will see a different text like as soon as it installs just close the terminal and reopen the terminal again right so this will ensure that the ZSH is installed and running on your terminal. If you type echo dollar shell and hit enter, you will see this type of output. So if you see this at the end of the line, if you see ZSH, that means the ZSH is installed and running successfully. If you see bash at the end of this line, that means your normal bash shell is still running. So to change from bash to zsh just log out from your computer and then log in and it will automatically ensure that you are successfully into zsh. If we talk about features the first thing that comes is plugins. Plugins are one of the features which makes zsh powerful. With plugins you can see command history, you get auto completions. Let me show you what I'm like talking about. So command history is basically you can see you see this this is the typed command that i can see so these are the command that i previously typed okay and auto completions auto completions means you see if i type something and hit right arrow key this will auto complete for me and i can just like uh, hit enter and go with it if i type e and you can see a uh, grayish something that is appearing that is the suggestion right it, that it is suggesting me that my previous like matching command that i typed earlier so this is plugins basically and also i can do syntax highlighting so apart from that like there are some other commands which i'll be getting in a second so if you come to the plugins section so just scroll down a little bit you see this got plugins see all plugins click there and it will automatically lead you to the github page so here is all the plugins so basically you just scroll down a little bit and you see there are tons of plugins also you can do one more thing you just go to a new tab and just simply type zsh plugins and just the first link that appears click on that here are all the plugins so you can see these are the plugins so here is some of my plugins that I personally use and I would highly recommend. So first get then web search, history, ZSH auto completion, ZSH syntax highlighting, yarn and AWS. Let me demonstrate all of them. So git right. If you go to this section, you see this. Let me just show you git. So if you click on that, it will take you to the main page. So you see this git plugin git basically like provide provides you many alias and few useful functions for example normally in terminal when we type something if i go to any project folder of mine and if i want to know the status so what i can do i can just simply type git status right and you see this so i can use alias of it so i can type gst that is a short form of git status and that short form is called alias okay so if i type zst and then hit enter you see 
the same thing happens i can do same thing with like um g a which stands for git add like let me show you g a and if i paste tab enter g a add you see now if i do gst again you see that you see modified that means i already added this file right with the help of this command g a so g a is a short form of git add so there are tons of this right so you can you can see this there are a lot of commands so let's say you want to like log your graph and view it in a prettier way this is the command that you can use with this alias you can literally print this whole command with this small alias so it saves you a bit of time over there and you and be focused on your task not writing this like long commands on your terminal right so yeah and add this plugin in your like zsh what you can do when you install zsh you can just simply do ls dash a and you can see zsh you see this zsh rc so this is the configuration file of zsh so if you go into that you see this is the configuration file and you just scroll down a little bit and you will see this plugins section right so you just type git over here i think git is like by default like it git by default comes with you like zsh so if you just add those plugins which is history zsh auto completion zsh syntax highlighting yarn and web search so these are the plugins that will help you to you know uh, be productive with your like command line and uh, other task so this is where you can like put your plugins i just show you some other plugins which is like web search so there's another one called vim mode vi mode right so here it is so this is the vim mode that means you can use all your vim commands in your normal terminal and you can also use yarn i use this you can also use like where it is web search so let me show you what is web search let's say i'm like i have two three multiple screens and i don't have any space to you know like go like go to my browser and then type what i want to type but what i can do and let's say i have this terminal open and this is somewhere near this page and i can easily access this so what you can do you can just simply type google and search whatever you want right so search google covid 19 if i search that and hit enter it will automatically open that for me in chrome so this is a pretty handy feature that i would like wanted to show you so yeah this is web search and you can also use yarn let me show you what yarn means actually so normally what we do we so when we try to add something right what we do we yarn we do yarn add right so if we type just y a that means yarn add so and then you can just pass your any like package and that will install you can also do y a d which stands for yarn add dev this is the command right so you can use yarn and you can go through this page and you can see like all other alias that you might need or you can check you can check yarn version you can also do yarn upgrade you can do yarn remove which is this one y rm and you can do also yarn run so these are the like alias that you can use and uh, apart from that if you are someone like who uses aws like extensively you can like use their plugin aws so aws this one so you can pretty much get all the aws you know shortcuts over here and this is a pretty handy command right so one more thing that i want to do like mention like too many plugins can really slow down your terminal so 6 to 8 at max is the sweet spot for your terminals but if you have a pretty you know solid machine then you can use 10 plugins but i would not recommend that like 6 to 8 and maximum like for maximum people 6 to 8 plugins are enough more than enough so one more thing that zsh comes with is themes so you can see this it is a colorful my terminal is a bit of colorful so this is because of themes that provides zsh so you can use themes so just simply go to the main page and you see this themes just go there this is a themed section so what you can do you can go through this page and see which theme you like 
currently i am using this one let me show you this one agnostar i am using so you can pretty much go through this page and see which theme you like and then just copy the name of it right and copy that name and just come over here on the terminal and just press you know again go to go inside that configuration file for that just type sudo nano zshrc and hit enter give your password and you see this you see this line let me just show you this one you see this so this one sorry so zsh theme right now i'm using agnostar if i change this to you know mu's type like remove that and type the new one mu's and save this and i can just close this and open a new terminal right and you see this that theme is uh, like instantly applied so you can use this and this is pretty like awesome this is a kind of another thing that you can check and yeah this is about zsh theme and in here you will find like many different themes the default theme like that comes with zsh is ruby russell to change the default theme just like remove that uh, remove that one that i just showed earlier that said um uh, this was a quick video about zsh and i hope you like the video and i'll try to you know upload more videos so if you like the video please consider subscribing and like the video i would appreciate that thank you see you in the next video bye